mellow drop. I bought over 445s on eBay. Now I'm going through them, cleaning each one, and looking for lost gems. And the next one is... The Stratus Singers. Lord bless you, Lord bless me. And the B-side is My World That Never Was. Well, this is another mystery one. I don't know anything about this. It's on London, which is the same label that the Rolling Stones were on, if that's anything. And I'm sure lots of other groups. But uh, this is a promo. So I'm sure it's some hidden classic that's worth hundreds of dollars, if not more. It doesn't sound promising. The Stratus Singers with a song called Lord Bless You, Lord Bless Me. Just sounds like some kind of pop gospel. I assume it's gospel because of the name of the band and especially the name of that song. I assume it's poppy because it was in with these 45s that I bought, which are mostly kind of fairly groovy 60s records. Some 70s. Um, yeah, this may not be my thing at all. It may be your thing. It may not be. Let's listen. Dramatic, all right. Lord bless you, and Lord bless me. Lord bless us all that you may see. Mm. Kind of reminds me of a more subdued coven. Sounds like dengue fever. Kind of. Very spooky minor minor key melody kind of cool production all right much better than I thought so far a tempo change mellow drop wow High, delicate female vocals, but that spooky, creepy melody. If Coven covered a King Crimson song. In the court of the Crimson King. I don't know if it's supposed to be psychedelic, but I'm classifying it as that. A kind of early prog, post-psych, gospel, dramatic, rave. Shh. It is a hidden gem. Oh, they went for it here, didn't they? Yeah. Listen to that. That's just straight up frog melodrama. That's not gospel pop. Deep Purple and Coven and all kinds of people thrown into a mix. I'm excited about the B-side. My World That Never Was. It's Genesis! I'm sorry, not yet, not yet. I'm jumping the gun. It would just be like, like try to paint by numbers piano pop rock from the 70s, but those vocals, the, whoever this is singing is haunting, just pure and, and smooth, but I don't know, maybe it's the headache from the A side or the hangover from the A side, but all right, B side is discreet, separate them, separate them, less adventurous than the A side, a lot more pleasant, a lot less dramatic. Little brushed drums. A few videos ago, I did a song by a guy called Paul Parrish called Janie. It was very, very slow, light, sparse folk, country, something. This is kind of like that, but with more instrumentation. A little more, a little more 
oomph, a little more push behind it. This is pleasant. It's very well done, good craft, but it's not, it's nothing like the A-side. I don't care about this really. Although in the context of a whole album, if it's sort of a, a mix between these two styles, the A-side and the B-side, this could work. This could just be part of the story. I, st I do like the production though. It's, it's not bland. The instrumentation in the production, or the, the arrangement is not terribly exciting, but the way the guitar, the acoustic guitar is kind of tuned down, or mixed down. That's cool, it works. Yeah, this one isn't going anywhere. Boy, the A-side had all kinds of stuff going on. This is staying close to the ground. I wish you love. More of that A-side stuff. All right, well, <laughs> despite the label, despite the song title, it looks extremely unpromising. It looks like it's going to be a 45 by like ocean or something, you know, or air supply meets Jesus or something. But Lord bless you, Lord bless me by the Stratus Singers is amazing. It's great. It's great, great, great. Definitely keep. It's one of the highlights so far of this series, I think, and of these records I bought. The other side, My World That Never Was, is not nearly as exciting. I got to find out more about this. When did this come out and what does it all mean? It, it, this is coming from somewhere. Let's do some more research. As it turns out, the Stratus Singers are hard to find information about. According to some sources, this 45 is their one and only release. It came out in 1971. But there is another Stratus Singers 45 from 1975 called 1875 to 1975 Centennial Calgary with the B-side Sleepy Wonder Book. I don't know if this is the same Stratus Singers and I haven't heard it. They do seem to have come from Calgary, Canada. Doug Hutton, who wrote Lord Bless You, Lord Bless Me, the one I like so much, and produced both sides of the record, was the subject of an article in a 1973 issue of Billboard that fleetingly mentions the Stratus Singers. And apparently at one point, according to this 1970 newspaper article, the group was two women and two men, Sandy Snowden, Murray Cameron, Robin Pettigrew, and Greg Langston. The Stratus Singers are still around now, or were recently, and now consists of Murray Cameron with Brock Smith and Mary Jo Smith. They seem to play some kind of Canadian comedy folk music. There is also something called Stratus Faction, which may or may not be related to a Canadian TV show of the same name, and some enterprise called the Hubcaps. I don't know. This really clears nothing up. All I know is that this one weird song from 1971 is a melodramatic and lost proggy classic. Even if I have the group's approach totally wrong, that's what my ears heard. I think it's great, and if you can afford the expense, I recommend finding a copy of this 45. 